Abusia for DJ KBN Top Online Radio UK. I am Jiri Subiawo, a Ghana for more UK ham chechemo and chakesia and the free Top Online Radio UK. So a bremo na a kamfo. Wise man solicitors. I am a mon Ghana for all a for more UK ha. I a bar UK in Krata. Simu mran simu di amadi mu akutine pa enti. I say oh UK ha na uhiya lawyers. Ama omo aye won krata sem amawa. Me kam fu Y Smart Solicitors Emma. Open your mo 0208-016-5384. That is 0208-016-5384. Aye omo emergency mobile number so 079-314-1101. That is zero seven nine three one four one one zero four two. Over to me as I know my email or info at wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. That is info at wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. On my website is here www.wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. I am addressed in the Nya Yabakwa Mo Dorstein Unit 8 to 9 The Print House 18 to 22 Ashwin Street Dorstein London E8 3DL That is E8 3 Delta Lima Why smart for the Utuomuswa no sorry Get in touch DJ Kevin here, top on audio, because it's here and I tell you what you Who is going to do my account and tax returns for me, Cra? Certified accountant. Certified accountant. Certified accountant. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a medical driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And then what's our with chap? And then we must say when you will be a what bring accounts and tax returns more. Now bans are so more. Now who you are. It's in a make careful certified accountant at the Yamawo. So F accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, not 20. Home manager certified accountant. Self tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And you should watch it. Company. What you want to Now what you want to do? No, this is a good one. No, no, no. Certified accountant. Say say about that stuff from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. Any more amu ya juma? Our temporary workplaces in Nigeria. Mum friendo. No one is going to do mama. Me dey dey me dey cry and say. H M R C four. I dey cabra work. What me buwa? H M. Anya sa aswa. What is so cry? Address three three five to three five one Raynham Road South, Dagenham R M ten eight Q R. Telephone zero two zero eight two two six. 4933 Mobile 079 Ah, certified accountant. Me I am for landing for UK for Ghana for Via Moshibia. It's time, it's time for in his presence. When you say, we be our way, I summon a monimono top online radio UK. A queer name every Monday from 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. The name is it's time for in his presence. I am a Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I am saying I'm yasem na fiji na so a bomb pie. I am table share for a nedi package you know emotion. Ah, enti ah yoni na yen tempu chumba cho se we di kaya ba platform no swa srewa she na ubiso enti enka na on sumiti yam yasem ebi. Ah, we are streaming live both on Facebook as well as on YouTube with me. And so, a tier a war yen free radio mobile app. I'll uh, be to me a download do from the Play Store or the App Store. And I uh, say so you can go to our website, toponlinestation.com. 
toponlinestation.com na in the middle of the page no we be hun app download links no app na e free e busu ah e untu ahwe enti ah o download do an wetin e tie 24/7 even when we are not on facebook or on youtube ah we dey am say mo fan chen ya brand ko akra na so no ai abro ai puma ko am ti se be chase de min fa Reverend Jacob mm-hmm. Vanderpoy, Emra Nayanshe, Jumedinasi. Good evening, sir. Mm-hmm. Welcome to In His Presence. How are you, sir? Good evening, DJ KB. I'm doing fine. The Lord has blessed us. Amen, amen, amen. Thank amen. you. <laughs> How is the network doing? I always ask. How is the network it, it, it's doing? It's a good thing to ask. It's a good thing to ask. We are doing good. Okay. The Lord is blessing his word and people are being blessed. Amen. Amen. I think probably I have to make some time some some day to join, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, and take part in your yes. yeah, I've been talking about it <laughs> all the time. I know. Busy, yeah, busy, 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 busy. It's not easy. All right. Rather than lead the way. Job. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, DJ KB. Thank you, Top Online Radio. Amen. Thank you, viewer. Thank you, listener. Yet again, it's another Monday. We are presence of God. Amen. And in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Amen. I want to welcome you gladly. Open up your heart that you will hear the oracles of God. I send you the blessings of God. The blessings of God that makes rich and add no sorrow be your portion. We invoke the precious blood of Jesus. We, We protect ourselves. We dip ourselves in the blood of Jesus. We pray that all families shall be saturated with the dew of heaven. Tonight, I pray that as you open your heart and as you receive the word of God, the word of God will take you further. May the Lord protect you. May the oracles of God be your portion. What what is your desire? Let your desire be in the Lord. We are living in turbulent times. We are living in dark ages. But yes. all that we need is the divine protection of God. Yes. And we are in October. Very soon, the year will be coming to an end. And all that we need is God to protect us and to enlighten our eyes of understanding Amen. and give us wisdom and direct us. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Lord, speak into our situation Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. You are welcome to Top Online Radio and in His presence. Amen. 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 I think, Reverend, yes, uh, we will continue from where we left. Where, uh, where we left. Yeah. Yes. Thank, Thank you, my, my, my precious uh, DJ. Coming. Uh, uh, last coming. week, we were talking about adultery and moral purity. You know, we are still on the Sermon on the Mount. Yes. And we saw God's standard for morality and righteousness. We saw morality is about right is right, wrong is wrong. There's no in between. And uh, God wants us, purity is the purpose of God for every believer. I, I dare say for every human being, but we are talking from the perspective of Christianity. So we say every believer, but purity is required of every person. We have to have pure motives. We have to worship the Lord. We have to commit ourselves to whatever we are doing. Our speech should be a speech of commitment. And we saw in First Corinthians, from six, uh, First Corinthians chapter six, nineteen to twenty. 
Uh, the Bible says, know you not that your body is the temple of Christ or Amen. temple of God. Amen. And if your body is the temple of God, then you have to dedicate your body to uh, uh, God. You don't do things and say, I, 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 I'm on my own. I can do what I like. No. The same First Corinthians uh, 6, uh, the, uh, the verse 12 tells us that all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. And we even cited the example that you can uh, uh, choose to be promiscuous or you can choose to go after other uh, uh, women. <laughs> Sorry, but that is not expedient. Nobody will come and arrest you, yes. but it isn't expedient. So we talk about adultery and morality, but today we want to start and talk. It's getting deeper now, very deeper and very sensitive. And we will read Matthew 5, 31 and 32. Just two verses. There are a lot of other scriptures we will read. But we want to talk about divorce and fidelity. Divorce and fidelity. And that is a very sensitive uh, area of uh, uh, discussion. What Jesus said, <coughs> what the Bible said about that. So we can read Matthew 5. 31 and 32. All right. Matthew 5, 31, 32. I will take that one. I'll read from um, the New King James Version. Oh, I have King James Version. Let me change. <laughs> um, I think... It's better. Um, the New King James Version it makes it easier. So I five. think I have the New King James. Oh, okay. 31. Yeah. Uh, so 31 to 35, is it? To 32. Yes, right. two verses. Okay, thank you. So I read yes. Matthew 5, 31 and 32. Furthermore, mm -hmm. it has been said, whoever divorces his wife let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. Wow. This is a very <coughs> difficult... <laughs> very difficult situation. Hmm. Bible is saying marriage is sacred and binding. That's why we share vows. Yeah. And over here they are saying whoever divorces his wife should give a, a, a certificate, certificate of, of divorce. divorce. <laughs> and whoever marries a divorced wife yes. commits adultery. <laughs> 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 is, is, so, this, is this being observed, Reverend Minister? Because uh, in uh, our days... Uh, uh, the, the, uh, we will come to a point that it will explain itself. Okay. <laughs> what is biblical marriage? That's where we will read Ephesians uh, 5. Uh, that will be a long scripture. Ephesians 5, 22 <laughs> to 33. That... I, 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 we will allow the scriptures itself to help us. At times, if the scriptures is read, it helps us to get the deeper meaning. So, Ephesians 5, verses... Verse 22 to 33. Wow, 22 to 33. Uh, All right, I, like I read. Mm -hmm. um, Ephesians 5, 22 33. Wives... Submit to your own husbands, mm -hmm. as the um, as to the Lord, for the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. 
Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Amen. 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 <laughs> uh, marriage begins with God. Family comes in, no doubt. But marriage was instituted by God. And God is trying to tell us uh, in, the, in the Ephesians, Paul was trying to tell us that uh, the two shall become one. Yes. And the, the wife shall submit, the husband should love. And yes. this play both parts. Mm -hmm. uh, when they say submit, that's it, to respect, to know that he is the head. But at times, uh, men do think uh, love, if you love, you can treat the wife anyhow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. If you love yourself, do you treat yourself anyhow? Mm -hmm. If you say you love, love is comprised in submission. In, 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 when you submit uh, and the husband loves you, that's the thing. So marriage is instituted by God and marriage should begin and be developed and, and be developed. Development is where the problem comes in. When it comes to the development, the order of relationship, first spiritual, then intellectual, and emotional, finally it becomes physical. But most of the time we go to the physical only. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us that divorce, God is divorce. Yeah. God is divorce. And that is not a license that when you are being molested or your life is taken for granted, you should be in it. Recently in Nigeria, a top uh, uh, singer died oh, see, and see. it was discovered that in the marriage there was more treatment. Yeah, her, her name is Osinachi, I think. Osinachi. And they, 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 they started blam blaming the... Uh, a uh, pastor of the church, a yeah. uh, pastor, a uh, ninja. But he came out openly that even if they are around and the children wants to talk to him, you see the uh, uh, husband coming as if there was something he was protecting. Mm. And the wife too does not open up to anybody. Yeah. The, the grounds on which uh, a marriage can be separated is uh, when there is adultery, fornication, and molestation. Mm. When you are being molested in the marriage, we don't say, oh, because of the vows. <laughs> if, the, <laughs> if the man has turned you to a pointing back, yeah. or the woman walks on you, it can be versus vice versa. Yeah, yeah. Or if the, the woman be Beat the men. <laughs> there are some beat them. <laughs> and if there is no peace, for that one, when it goes to that extent, uh, uh, the thing can break by itself. But if you say you are staying in it, there is no love, there is no submission, there is no misunderstanding. I know people, I know people, this is hard. 
They are even praying for their spouse to die. Wow. I know, I know. I'm a minister. Because they say, oh, if I leave her or him, uh, what will people say? But if he or she is no more there, I didn't kill him. Hmm. So what, what are we trying to establish here? And uh, uh, Matthew 19, 3 to 9, if you want me to read, I can read. Okay. Uh, uh, there, there, there was a question thrown to Jesus. And Jesus is an expert on those things. So let's read. Uh, Matthew 19, 3 to 9. He says, the Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for last, for last any reason? And he answered and said to them, have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female, uh, yeah. male and female. That also brings something to us. Male and female. It didn't say male and male should, yes. should be in marriage. Very so. Male yeah. and female. It didn't say female and female yeah. should be in marriage. So, typically, certain things are going on. It's not right in the sight of God. Uh, let's go on this just by the way. The five says, and he said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. That is where at times we get it wrong. The marriage is in chaos, misunderstanding. I'm not talking of divorce go and divorce here. But, uh, there are examples to the extreme. There's no joy. There's no misunderstanding. There have been counseling and many things and still people dwell on it. Let's go on. When we conclude, we will see what Jesus wants. Uh, she says, so then, they are no longer two, but one flesh. That's right. Therefore, what God has joined together let no man separate. Seven so says, they said to him, why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? That was the first one we read. Moses commanded that you can give a certificate of divorce and put a wife away. And he said to them, Moses, because of your hardness, of hearts permitted you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. And I says, and he said to, and, and I said to you, whoever divorces his wife, except, except, mm. except, except for sexual immorality, neither commits adultery, and whoever marries her who is divorced commits adultery. Yes. So yeah. he, he made it clear if a man, uh, uh, men don't want to accept it, but if uh, a woman and a man is found in adultery, mm. people, there can be to the extreme mistake can come. If you still love the person, and there is understanding, you can settle it and move on. But if it becomes continuous, nobody should advise you what to do. If you want that to be, which has become the norm now, people go with other people from Ischios, and they are still in marriage. Mm. That is up to you. So Jesus made it clear that it's not just a, 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 a certificate of divorce. But if somebody is caught in the act, you are married to me, I'm married to you, and I'm caught with another person. Mm. And 
it clearly it, it means they are in relationship they have the right to live if you want to but if you have the gaps and you want to forgive the person because people change there can be a mistake okay so if you want to forgive that's where it becomes delicate for ministers of god ministers of god will not go ahead and tell you this is what you have to do they will tell you that's that's the condition what do you think in your heart what do you think you have been in this marriage maybe 10 20 years and setting has not happened before but it has happened can you overlook it and the person has apologized and genuinely at times such mistakes happen and when he's forgiving it doesn't happen anymore but uh, the decision is based on you so what am i dragging at it jesus made it abundantly clear that in sexual uh, immorality and we we are also talking of uh, molestation he didn't say it but how can you be in a, a marriage and you are being abused every time physically mm. definitely common sense will tell you that if you don't run you will be killed Mm, so these are some of the things and the other is when the spiritual comes in we are talking from the perspective of christianity there should be spirituality in it that you yeah. uh, we are human we all have to let god help us standard Amen. And, and Amen. we can fall short of the standard from there then uh, from time to time that's why we were saying, if you think you know your husband, you know your wife, and this thing has happened, and you find a place in your heart, and you forgive the one, and you live together again. At times, when that thing is done, the blessings that follow mm. can be great. Yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't take a steep decision when it comes to such decision. So... A good minister will pray with you, counsel you, give you time, go and pray, and think the next step you want to take. Mm. Until it becomes the normal thing. Mm. The same thing happens all the time. That's where there comes a time the minister will tell you, you can do this. I advise you, if you want to be in it, it's up to you. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when the spiritual comes in, before the physical, it helps. The spiritual is, we look to God. God sustain our marriage. We correct ourselves. At times, homes, <laughs> there are misunderstandings. Almost every home. Nobody is a saint, but there is a way to go about it, and all comes down to God. So, uh, don't be satisfied with second rate home and family life. Determine to make it work. The determination to make it work. When you are determined to make it work, you don't accept it to be, oh, it should be chaotic and you are in it. Your home is your everyday life. So if there is no peace in your home, and you you go about the same thing all the time, it, it, it doesn't bring any, any, any edification to the marriage. And there should be fidelity. Fidelity is faithfulness, loyalty. When there is no faithfulness, when there is no loyalty, when there is no uh, 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 knowing that what you are doing to your brother, your husband, or your wife, does he affect you? If he's done to you, do unto others 
what you would like them to do up to you. So if there is no faithfulness, the foundation is not strong. It all comes down to faithfulness, loyalty, and a, a, a commitment to one another. That's why we take the vow. We take the covenant. We take the promise. We pledge. The basis for marriage is covenant commitment. So if there are some questions as I keep talking, yeah. bring it out. Yeah. We will all try and uh, yeah. how yeah. to pl practice loyalty and faithfulness. Make fidelity a threat, a treat to be admired and desired. Build up your spouse. Don't compare your spouse to others. That's yeah. also a very big problem in relationship. Comparison. Yeah. Comparison. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it is very, very true, Reverend Minister, if I may come here. Um, you know, when we start comparing ourselves, you know, some of us, they will, they will compare our marriages with um, other people's marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, in no time we come, you know, but somebody say we're buying stress, <laughs> putting stress yeah. on our, on our hey, partner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, I saw that they, this this family, and they did this, they did that, they've done that. They did this situation, you know. They approached this situation this way. Mm -hmm. they, they have acquired this. They have done this. So let also get the same thing. Meanwhile, you may not be ready. You know, for instance, someone say, oh. Um, my friends, family, they, they went for holidays in mm -hmm. Germany. Mm -hmm. If you are unlucky to have some <laughs> partner oh, like that, secret. the oh, person will secret. be, yes, on your yes. neck. Let's also mm -hmm. go to Germany. Because mm -hmm. why? You ask the person why, well, all mm -hmm. my friends, they, they've been there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and probably you may not be, have the money to do it. But mm -hmm. this person may be on your neck. Let's also do it. You may end up going to borrow money and end up in debt. So I think, That's you know, yeah, comparing ourselves with other people is it, it, not helpful. It's not it's helpful. Not helpful. helpful. Um, another example I can give is um, a, a woman, just an example, can say, oh, my husband mm -hmm. does this for me always. For instance, every birthday, my, my husband buys me a new phone, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So if that this person's husband is not giving her new phone every birthday, uh, every birthday, she thinks that oh that husband does not care about her, that husband mm -hmm. doesn't mm -hmm. love her, which might not be the case because that yeah. person have come from a different background, is not his yeah. style, you know. So I think it is very very important as believers that we stop, you know making these unhelpful uh, um, comparisons. Comparison. Yes, <laughs> because of these unhelpful comparison, some people, especially some some women, um, have bought shoes they never wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you yeah. ask them why, because they saw their friends wearing it. So they also say, then I should also have it. Some dresses they worn just once, and is mm -hmm. left in the wardrobe and, and it, it doesn't help you know dear listeners and viewers it doesn't help as christians we must be careful of some of these devices some of our people you know we go to church and we, we sort of put ourselves in some kind of competition we are competing mm -hmm. with our members fellow members in the church we look at what they mm -hmm. wear and we want to wear the same when, when even there is a, a call for offering or whatever donation, <laughs> the competition mm -hmm. arises over there. And some of them, yes, yeah, you know, oh, mm -hmm. this person gave 500. Mm -hmm. So if I don't also give at least 500, it means that I'm behind. I'm low. Yeah. Meanwhile, <laughs> the person may have 100 pounds in, in their bank account, but he also mm -hmm. pledged 500. Then later on, the church will have be chasing her or him. For, for the ball for the money so mm. wh what profit is this you know cut our let's learn to cut our 
quote according to our size. According to our size. Yes, because we are never, size. you know, the same with anybody else. We are peculiar. No mm -hmm. two marriages are the same. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's so it. the way somebody's marriage is going, never use that to judge how your mm -hmm. marriage, I mean, should, should run. It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. Thank you very much, sir. But before yeah, you come I, in, yeah, yeah, come in, sir. <laughs> go, 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 sir. Yeah, um, yes. there was this, uh, uh, the, the passage we read, that he mm -hmm. said, if a, a, a woman is divorced, mm -hmm. and an, another man marries her, she that, that man makes the woman commit adultery. So, in effect, he was saying that, or was, it say, was he saying that when the woman is divorced, no no man should marry her is, is that what is he saying here that was the law of moses okay that was the law of moses okay. and jesus clearly is saying here if really the the woman is divorced and the man has nothing to do with her anymore mm -hmm. you are free to marry but okay. in the law they they made it in a way that when you are divorced, it's like you become an outcast. Okay. Uh, that's not the thing. But, the, uh, uh, but at the moment, at times, they even haven't done divorce. That also is the problem. They haven't separated very well. Mm. And they go and marry another one. But if, like, in a sexual or in a molestation situation, mm. and uh, the uh, the church has come in, the family has come in, and uh, if we are back home, you see, or the Sanu Abba, or the Sanu Abba, something like that, uh -huh. and uh, it's clear, uh, it's clear, yeah. the man will not stand anywhere and say, uh, she is still my wife. That okay. one, uh, the law, uh, that's why this says, I came to fulfill the law. Mm -hmm. I, I did not come to abolish the law, but fulfill it. So some items in the law, it, 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 it restrict us, mm -hmm. but it's law. But it doesn't work these days. And mm -hmm. in addition to what we are saying about comparison, mm -hmm. KB, to be honest, a marriage that there are too many people in it, uh, it, it becomes chaotic. It's and true. it becomes problematic and believe you me some of the friends that come and tell you micro isa amami the year i see amami some are not true yes <laughs> yes you, some are not true mm. and some that you even see physically do you know where they get their money mm -hmm. it's it's never wrong to admire something like a family saw another family progressing. Yeah, it's never wrong to admire. Oh, DJKB recently they've built a nice home at in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Oh, the two of you can decide. Oh, by God's grace, we can also do it. Yeah, you can plan towards it, but not that because they've done it, you also you have not prepared. By all means, you should do it. Mm. If you admire it, it's fine. And some of the things a friend will come and tell you, a man can tell another man, oh, I did this for my wife, I did this. It may be wrong. It may be false. Mm. So let's be careful. A friend we make, and the people will confide in them. There are some things we don't say, uh, hold everything to yourself. But there are some sensitive things in relationship. It's not everybody you should go at there. You should not wash your dirty leaning uh, 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 in public. In public. Yeah. Yeah. In public. When it's, there is becoming complicated, we have pastors, we have elders, maybe your dad or your mom, they can advise you. But it's not uh, when you drink water and the water pour and there is a problem. You take it to your mom. You take it to your... So, yeah. comparison, we should be very careful. And we should be considerate when we were talking. That's where. Should be considerate. 
the person buying a uh, 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 wife his wife uh, phone every time maybe his honey may be higher than yours yeah yeah and if you look at the phone your husband is using and you are demanding him <laughs> to buy you phone every time <laughs> yeah. and look at the income in your house mm -hmm. there are some things when a man or the family is becoming stingy they can talk about it but you are in it and you know what is in your coffers yeah. so second demands when you bring it you are not being considerate mm. Mm. you are trying to create problem in your marriage and the same people the moment you start doing it for them and certain things cannot be done i say oh uh, this time you don't buy this and at times the man will refer to the woman i used to buy the phone for you so i can't do this and that creates problem mm. so let me consider it know the wishes of your spouse please the other without being asked or told mm. you see at times we want to be told what to do yeah we want to ask but our asking should also not be too rigid too demanding <laughs> you know yourself yeah honestly and one thing uh, i heard from this country at times in a relationship a man is even building a house without the wife knowing hmm. is that a marriage <laughs> a, a man will be doing something in ghana without the husband knowing reverend minister that, and that, that, that is a marriage. very very big issue <laughs> Yeah, very, very big and issue. it's happening life in this country. Yes, it it's, is an approach. It's a lot. Yeah, it's an approach. Some families, some couples, some uh, yeah, couples have adopted. Obi anyani dia. Obi anyani dia. Not that he ya ya in Warabi or Banyami dia. Warabi, oh my God, <laughs> it's like. Marriage is like a, a union, uh, something like like a club. They, they treat it as a club. You can leave any time. So, and I think it's, it's but, but some people believe in that. And that is how they they run their marriages. Yes, it is. It is. But it doesn't make it healthy. Yeah. It doesn't, that's where fidelity is not in it. Mm. Uh, truthfulness is not in it. Yeah. There's no faithfulness. It's true. Because uh, you know that's the way you operate. Even if you are telling the truth, mm -hmm. they will say that is not the truth. Because you feed in certain things from her or him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some will go to Ghana and go and discover, oh, Nano Uriba Ghana no wakota as I see you. And now Ukru wasifia wow. I mean, uh, it, 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 it's a bit difficult. Yeah, same that means you 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 haven't understood hmm. yourself, and you are not living as it a couple. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. Mm, you are not hmm. living as a couple. We must see and value marriage as God values hmm. it. Marriage is the first institution of God, and God values it family after family mm. marriage god and out of family comes marriage and god values it so much do everything to preserve and prosper the marriage but when everybody is doing his or her separating there won't be prosperity mm. there will be mistrust mistrust mm. there won't be faithfulness Everybody will be cry or 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 kind scar or fear that you need your back. Or yeah, yeah. What is this? Yeah. What is this? So if that is not there already, you've opened up for the enemy to come in. Yeah. Small thing, it will backfire. Small hmm. thing, there will be fight and there will be chaos. How to resolve marital marriage? Open up. Mm. 
we don't open up. Yeah, that is very, very true. We don't open up. And uh, this era, I will come to men a lot. At, men, at times, men, our ego, our ego is killing us. <laughs> I mean, it's vice versa. It can be mm, both sides. Mm. But at times we try to uh, prove that I'm the head. Yeah. The, the head that <laughs> say there, we misuse it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say you are the head. Jesus is the head of the church. He's not working on us. Yeah. yeah. He loves us. Yeah. He cherishes us. Mm -hmm. And he, he forgives us. Yeah. And we are encouraged by his word. So if you are the head, that's where the encouragement should come in. Where there is a time to chastise, you will chastise. Yeah. Where there is a time to be flexible, you will be flexible. Mm. Don't uh, have your own way all the time. Mm. So these are some of the things. These are some of the things. I think our time yeah. is far yeah. spent. So it's time. Mm. So Reverend, if you can lead us in prayer, pray for our listeners and viewers and uh, those needing healing, um, the Lord touch us. And, you know, those having issues with their finances, um, mm. those having issues even in the spirit, spirit, uh, spirit realm where there mm. are any attacks uh, from the camp of the enemy, may the Lord have mercy on us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, my, my, my DJ. Father in the heaven, we come before you. We have opened up on the subject of marriage, divorce and fidelity. Lord, be gracious unto us. Amen. Lord, give us a heart of understanding. Amen. Cause us to love one another and to be there for one another. Let's be considerate in our marriages. Let's not compare. And let's have love for one another and forgive one another and encourage one another in everything that we do. Amen. Father, there are many diversities in marriage. There are many challenges in our everyday life. Lord, have, have a mercy upon us Amen. direct our steps lord today we call upon you there are many people facing challenges not necessarily in marriage yes. but in the, their health mm. father send forth your word your word of deliverance Amen. your word of if if somebody you you are suffering from a type of diagnose the power of god and the anointing of god and the healing virtues of god be sent to you amen be free from the entanglement of the enemy amen paul uh, uh, john says in uh, the, the third john and uh, the verse two i wish above all you will prosper you will be in earth and if, if, even as your soul prospers. Amen. Father, we pray that financially, many homes are broken yes. due to financial constraints. Yes. Like we are talking, marriages are being broken through no fault of the people. Mm. But when there are no sound finances, it brings about uh, uh, burdens and it brings about misunderstanding. Lord, open the floodgates of heaven. Amen. Cause it rain cause people to have finances to manage their home Amen. both men and women Amen. lord we pray for your grace to abound on us Amen. favor your people let your peace the peace of god that passes all understanding envelop us Amen. lord bless marriages christian marriages should be enjoyed every marriage should be enjoyed Lord, forgive us our approach to marriages. Father, if we have wrong somewhere, we pray tonight, wherever you are, go before God and pray that God will bring joy into your home. Amen. Lord, we come before your mercy seat. Somebody, you lack something. And the Lord says, I'm ready to forgive you your sins. Amen. 
I'm ready to wash you with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, receive the touch of God. Receive the healing virtues of God. Amen. Receive the visitation of God. Amen. Father, we call upon you. Amen. Receive. For Christ in you is the hope of glory. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. But Christ has come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So just say to me, Reverend, I want to give my life to Jesus. Amen. And say after me, Dear Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I invite you into my life. Come into my life. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Forgive me my sins. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I will not go back to the whole things. For if any man be in Christ, he is the new creation. All the old things are passed away. Jesus loves you. You are saved. In Jesus' name. We thank God for the uh, top online radio and all programs should be blessed. All people who come on this line be anointed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. My, my presenter, DJ KB. Amen. God bless Amen. you Amen. so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Reverend Minister, for your time. Um, dear listeners and viewers, this is Reverend, Doc, um, Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Willing Intercessors Network. I'm going to put his number on your screen. Mm. Yes. The number to call, um, if you need <laughs> prayers, you, you want them to help you, um, to pray about something, uh, you can call the number on your screen right now, which is 078-987-24108. That is 078-987-24108. Also, if you want to join the prayer network, you can call the same number mm. and... Reverend Vanderpoy will be glad to assist you. Thank you very much, sir. Amen. So, um, we will, yeah. yeah, thank you very much, sir, uh, sir, for your time and your dedication to this program. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope um, to come your way again, same time next week, for another edition of In His Presence. As the word of Amen. God says, In His Presence, there's fullness of. Joy. Of joy. So same time mm -hmm. next week. Don't miss it. And also the video, the please path. share, share the video so that people who missed it can also watch it again. Thank you very much, Minister. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Next week. God bless All you, right. sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. I wish you for that uh, was Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. I said that when we say network of prayer warriors, prayer warriors. I and say oh yeah umpire ball please call that number zero seven nine nine eight seven two four one zero eight one zero eight. That is zero seven eight nine eight seven two four one zero eight. Now, Reverend Minister, no about wow. Now, yeah, DJ Kevin, they say, yeah, we say, what is going on? <laughs> and they say, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> Prime Minister, now. And you may now and some of course no I I yet a hundred a hundred a hundred I I yet a hundred a hundred um right well uh, Reverend Vanderpoy or see we nya link no okay oh um very sorry I think I shared it somewhere let me yeah provide it now um. Let's see. Yes. So it looks as if say say we are getting a new prime minister. Now, senior Reese, you know, you see, there were three people 
involved. Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak, and there was another lady. By the way, I don't know, I call you know, the I say, I'm going to get a crowd. I'm going to get a crowd. I'm going to get a crowd. Because at least Boris Johnson was going to contest. And at least Boris Johnson, because I didn't know of the other lady. The other lady. But we knew say, Boris Johnson was going to contest. After you caught in court here, I see Boris say, Were you in the frame? What? Wow. After so, I need to be a say, the second, uh, the third uh, contender, and also that woman, my men also were in the frame. In that case, in as I hook up on we were left with Rishi Sunak. I, the former uh, chancellor, and this is say, it looks as if say, uh, um, Rishi Sunak, and a uh, uh, next <laughs> prime minister. Wow. Now, but you have what you saying? What you know saying? I, a new prime minister, Rishi Sunak, and. Uh, a bit of chess, um, is a breakthrough, but I did back also. I betray me say, a and Crophobia and any new Jose Rishi Sunak, I all Baba, you know, Prime Minister, and those people almost share that, especially those who were supporting, um, uh, Boris Johnson to become, you know, to come back, no. I see we're more jab basa 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 basa. Aden, aden, no more jab. I must say, aden na Boris Johnson was standing down. Ama si si Rishi Sunak eko on the post. Ebusiya. In this half one, what do you say? I dream when you cut up on Monday yes aden. Whatever it is, at least at this year, no, there have been some records have been set some records have been set if you want to say some records have been broken it's it almost the same thing because at least we've had a black <laughs> um chancellor even though uh, he was in post for just a short while but it is in the uh, record books that in the history of the united kingdom we had a black vice chancellor this same year 2022 it looks like we are going to have a non-white prime minister a non-white prime minister i rishi sunak as you see obey <laughs> and prime minister nebusha for what you know say i when i saw my abajun jinho mriti abinti but before that, no, I program me about share some messages from our sponsors. I am I'm from where it is to where it should be. for DJ KBN Top Online Radio UK. I'm Jiri Subiano, a Ghana for more UK Hammy Chet Show. And check us here on the free top online radio. You can so a brand on I come for wise smart solicitors. I am a Mongana follower for, for more. You can have I buy you can crack a simum ransom with your modi more kutinipa and tea. I say, Oh, you can have now here lawyers. I'm a more I won't crack a sim. I'm a one. We come for wise smart solicitors. A man open your more 0208 016. Five three eight four. That is 0208 016 5384. I am emergency mobile number 
Over to me, I send on my email or info at wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. That is info at wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. On my website, this is www.wisemartsolicitors.co.uk. I am addressed in the Enya Yerabakwa Omo Dostin, Unit 8 to 9, The Print House. 18 to 22 Ashwin Street, Dorsting, London, E8 3DL. That is E8 3 Delta Lima. Why smart for the Utuomuswa? No, sorry. Get in touch. DJ Kevin here, top on audio, Kosuti and Tamukuchu. going to do my account and tax returns for me cra certified accountant certified accountant certified accountant they will help you with your account and tax returns are you a medical driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And I was working with you. And then we will see when you will be a what bring accounts and tax returns more. Now bans are so more. Now more you actually. It didn't make careful. Certified accountant. And the amount. So F accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of all, not to edit. Open management. Certified accountants. Safer tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. Anti Christian Wachira Kwan. Company. What you can say. Now what you have to be bro. What is the Kapudu Subabro? No Bushia. Certified accountant. Say say a battle straight from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. Any more money you want, our temporary workplaces in Nigeria. Move from now. No one is going to do your mum. We did the other day. We are going to say H M R C four. I did cabra work. What you mean? Wow, H M. Anya Sanzua. What is Sokra? Address three three five to three five one Raynham Road South, Dagenham R M ten eight Q R. Telephone zero two zero eight two two six. 4933 Mobile 079 Ah, certified accountant. Let's get ready to rumble. Ghana for Abrache for UK for join your highness no, 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 no. on Top Online Radio UK for our current affairs talk show to London Digest. This is every Thursday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. What's going on? What's trending? What's in the news? Join Nana Youngson to digest these and all stories making headlines in Ghana, UK, US, Europe, and the world over. Don't miss this show. This is an every Thursday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. What's trending? Don't miss this show. To Trending Digest. You can watch this program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK or download our radio app from the Play Store and Apple Store or visit our website toponlinestation.com. This program is proudly sponsored by Certified Accountants Limited, a firm of Ghanaian accountants in the UK. You can reach them on 0208-226-4933. That's 0208-226-4933. 4933 and what of you? Tune in to us 24-7 on our free mobile radio app. Download our free app from the 